now to the breaking news. This is video we just got in from a crew at the scene at Fox Elementary in Richmond. In the 2300 block of Hanover Avenue, the fire broke out sometime around 1030 or so. At least that's when the first reports were coming out. By the 11 o'clock hour, it hit a second alarm. But again, here you see flames and fire. Crews there now on the scene battling the flames coming up through the roof there. Fox Elementary, again, a fire there tonight. We have not heard any reports of injuries. We hope, we presume, no one was inside the building at the time. Children were dismissed hours ago. That building is about 110 years old, we're told. And again, it is a, a terrible fire tonight. You're looking at a video we just got in from our crew there. We'll continue to follow this scene as it develops and certainly as we get an update from Richmond Fire Department. We'll be right back. Bill, I asked a battalion chief what's on fire. He tells me the entire school is on fire. As you mentioned, it's now a three alarm fire here on Hanover Avenue in the city. Firefighters are working on this thing to get it under control, but they are battling a massive fire behind me. We'll keep our viewers up to date with the latest on WTVR.com throughout the night. All right, thank you, John, for that report. Again, Fox Elementary, a 110-year-old school building in Richmond Public Schools is on fire, a three-alarm fire. We're awaiting a report on any possible injuries. We hope there are none, but stay with us, as John said, at WTVR.com for updates, and then at CBS 6 this morning, starting at 6 a.m. Following some breaking news this morning here in Richmond, William Fox Elementary School on Hanover Avenue in the fan was engulfed in flames late last night, just after 10.30. The Richmond Fire Department says there have been no injuries, but portions of the historic school now caved in. CBS 6 photojournalist Joe Valdez was on scene last night and spoke with several witnesses. It's just a tragic loss to the community. There is a massive amount of damage happening here. Let's go. Wow, it's, it's crazy. I was just concerned for the buildings around us and the school itself. It's a historic property. This is crazy. Yo, what are they going to do? I'm just wondering what they're going to do on Monday. Like, It's been burning for about an hour, I know, at least. As far as I know, the Fox School is on fire. Bro. Like, we just smelled the smoke from nearby. Wow. It is severely on fire. It looks like the, the team, the fire team is like completely surrounding the building. It looks like this thing is just getting started in a way. Woo! I hope the school isn't gone. The kids alone, what are they gonna do on Monday when they have to go back to school? It's that's that's all that comes to my mind is what are these children, what are these teachers, what are they gonna do? Now, that was CBS 6 photojournalist Joe Valdez on the scene. According to the Virginia Department of Education, 358 students attend Fox Elementary. There is no word yet on what will be done with classes moving forward. Fire crews, they're still working to determine the origin and cause of the fire. Like, we just smelled the smoke from nearby. Wow. It is severely on fire. It looks like the, the team, the fire team is like completely surrounding the building. It looks like this thing is just getting started in a way. Woo! I hope the school isn't gone. A devastating fire leaves a historic Richmond Elementary School in ruins. Welcome to CBS 6 Weekend. I'm Jake Burns. We have complete 360 coverage of that three alarm fire that tore through Fox Elementary last night. Bree Season will take us to the scene today, but first, a look at what we know about the incident so far profound heartache at the catastrophic damage to Fox Elementary School. The principal of Fox Elementary explains why seeing this damage causes so much hurt. This building has stood for 110 years, educating thousands and thousands of youngsters in our community. As the sun came up on the aftermath of the three alarm fire at Fox Elementary, we're learning about the timeline of events Friday night. All companies en route 2300 Hanover Avenue at Fox Elementary. The first call actually came in just before 9.30 p.m., according to radio traffic, after a passerby reported hearing and seeing alarms inside the school. Can you get in touch with the school representative? Haven't responded to this location. After not being able to get in touch with RPS, firefighters say they made entry. 
Crews investigated for more than 40 minutes and were unable to find anything. Still is secure. Still all the hazards in the building. Truck 3 and engine 12 are turned into service. Then, after 10.40 p.m., 30 minutes after leaving the school, fire crews were called back to Fox. Flames shooting from the roof. Yes, there was a fire alarm here or an alarm here. Richmond Fire Chief Melvin Carter says they're still investigating what triggered that initial alarm. We're not certain if it was a fire alarm, a motion detector. We're still investigating. We're trying to get to the bottom of that. Fire crews did respond. RPS and city leaders expressed thanks for the crews that responded to the scene. Portions of the roof were collapsing around 11 p.m., but firefighters were able to get the blaze under control without any serious injuries around 2.45 Saturday morning. We want to give everyone time to process the events and make the necessary academic preparations. Fox will be closed both Monday and Tuesday before shifting to virtual learning as school leaders determine which RPS property the Fox community will call home for now as the damage to this historic building is assessed. We are looking at a couple of options. Uh, one of those is Clark Springs Elementary, which we sometimes use as swing space. Uh, we're exploring the feasibility of that right now, but because it's going to take a little bit of time, uh, we're switching over to virtual in, in the meantime. It's not about a building. The Fox spirit lives within each and every one of us in this community. We are strong. We will manage this together. The entire day, people showed up at Fox to see the damage for themselves and show their support. Arbery Season joins us with uh, more on how the community is responding. It is exceptionally dark on the block where Fox Elementary School sits, but we can tell you there are literal love notes written on the perimeter around that building. Even though there might be 358 students enrolled this academic school year, it is clear that they are not alone in their grief. A chain link fence goes up around the shell of what was a 60,000 square foot haven for learning. Say cheese. For the Cobb family, like so many others, Friday night's fire is devastating. We have the Ring app. Uh, then the alert came up and it said Hanover and Strawberry Street. I said, oh no, that's like I know where it is. I said, oh no, okay. By early Saturday morning, love notes and artwork surround the historic Fox Elementary while questions swirl about what's next. Virtual, but I'm not sure how long that is it going to be the rest of the year. Is it, are we going to have a place? Many take guesses about how it all flamed out so fast. My brother's idea was that someone was up there and had a cigarette and left it up there and it grew into a fire. While there is no determination yet on what caused the fire, from the mouths of babes, we hear about their priorities. She only cares that the playground's left. She doesn't really care about the school getting collapsed. And gain valuable insight to their hearts. These cute little swallow birds that would fly around the school and they would nest in the little rafters of the school. And I think it's just so sad because, the, because their home was basically destroyed. There are still quite a few things to figure out. Richmond Public Schools does say that the building was insured and property records indicate that its value for the structure itself is somewhere close to $4 million. But it's unclear if a new school will be built at the same site or how long that process might take. Working for you, Bree Season, CBS 6 News. For those looking to help, Richmond Superintendent Jason Cameron spoke about how best to support the Fox community. Donations can be sent through the Richmond Education Foundation. You just got to go to rpseducationfoundation.org and select Fox Elementary Fire Response in the drop down menu. We have a link on WTVR.com. Yeah, and Bill, Julie, because it's expected to take several weeks before a temporary brick and mortar spot is picked for a return to in person learning for the students, they are getting ready for that virtual class and today the community rallying together to help them get ready. Signs of support greet those walking into former Clark Springs Elementary School Tuesday. This is an expression of love. As they make their way through the gym, picking up essentials for a return to online learning. We're going to make sure things go as smooth as possible to have some normalcy for them. As those here are all members of Fox Elementary School, destroyed in a fire Friday night. It's been overwhelming. Among them, Pandora Crowns, a Fox alumnus and parent of a current student. I just watching the auditorium collapse and just remembering all of the times and the memories and the experiences that we won't get 
and that it just, it's just horrific. The virtual school is expected to last several weeks as officials look for a temporary brick and mortar replacement and Crowns' third grader looks forward to that. I mean, yeah, I wish I get to go to school. At Tuesday's event, students were given curriculum, Chromebooks and meals. This is just the beginning to express that we are here for our teachers, our faculty and staff, and most important, our children. And the Fox family expressing their gratitude for this and the many shows of support seen throughout the city since Friday. Seems like we're gonna get back to normal somehow. We are ready to heal from this. As it has been said before, Fox means the world to us. That building means the world to us. But we have Fox in our hearts. Now, RPS says they plan to continue to provide meals throughout the virtual learning and more details will be released on that. As for families that couldn't get to this distribution event, RPS says their lip limo will start going door to door to those families starting tomorrow, leaving off those materials, even if someone isn't home, with the exception in that latter case being for Chromebooks. The fire at William F. Fox Elementary School a week ago not only impacted the lives of students and teachers, but it also left a beloved school in Richmond fan district in ruins. In his latest Eye of the Story, Greg McQuaid and Chief Photographer Brad Wilson introduced us to a man who doesn't want to see the city's or his family's history wiped away forever. I can't recall ever seeing a memorial like this in Richmond for anything. Along a stretch of Hanover Avenue, one block is now a boulevard of broken hearts. Favorite memory, kindergarten dance. Handmade notes read like sympathy cards. Happy Valentine's Day, Fox. I hope you feel better. David Robinson. Love, Lulu. Is still processing the destruction of a Richmond institution. The thought of losing this building was not comprehensible to me. For 111 years, William F. Fox Elementary welcomed in generations of students. Fox is the best. Well, they're sure right about that. On this day, Chain Link is keeping people out. This is like going in to the middle of Richmond's fan and ripping out the heartbeat. We do have fire showing from the top floor. It looks like the middle section of the school right above the main entrance. We'll be initiating fire attack from the front door. One week ago. There is a massive amount of damage happening here. This hub of education for 360 boys and girls erupts into an inferno. Some of the most fantastic fire scenes ever filmed in the city of Richmond. Lit up the night sky. Roaring flames chew through classrooms and more than a century of history. The power of fire the power of anything you love so much can be taken away in an instant. Appreciate what you have because it might not be there tomorrow. A charred shell is all that remains of Fox Elementary. The hundreds of thousands of gallons of water that went in have just ruined everything on the first floor, second floor completely gutted. Everything except for the walls is gonna need to be torn away. In the fire's wake, a stunned student body, teachers, and an entire neighborhood. This fire is going to be one that thousands of people are going to be telling their children about. Jackson, that's an amazing tribute to the building. Mr. Robinson didn't earn his diploma inside. Jackson, look at this. But his roots run deep. My DNA is here. David's ancestor, designed Fox Elementary. This is Charles M. Robinson, my great-grandfather. Fox was one of dozens of schools David's great-grandfather planned in Virginia, including Thomas Jefferson High School, Binford Elementary, and Albert Hill Middle. These are the original plans that specify where there's to be concrete, where there's to be wood. A place that goes beyond bricks and mortar. Fox was and always will be. David's favorite. It was the most technologically advanced public school building in America, period. Built in 1911 for $71,000, the school was named for the city's popular superintendent, William Fawcett Fox. Beloved by 
people of all races for his vision to educate children free. In 2011, David was invited to deliver a speech at the school's centennial celebration. When they went to that school building, they were going somewhere special. He's five years old and he just finished his first virtual class today. He has Miss Taylor, right, Jackson? Denise Kern lives around the corner. And Jackson here, he didn't want to come down over the weekend at all. Then he decided he was going to make something this morning because he was now ready to see the school. She needed to witness the wasteland firsthand. There's no way really to express what you felt. Um, I think everybody was teary-eyed. Miss Kern's daughter attended Fox, and her grandson Jackson just enrolled. It was heart-wrenching. You know, I thought for the children, the teachers, all the whole community. Jackson and other kindergartners in Miss Taylor's class will return to virtual learning for the foreseeable future. I think if they could preserve what they can, it would be phenomenal. Inspectors and engineers explored the remains of a once vibrant building. It will get immediately worse unless you take the steps to cover that roof. City and school leaders will eventually determine the fate of Fox. The story can't end with they tore it down and put it in the dumpster. David Robinson hopes the plan includes repurposing what is still standing. This is as important a building in the city of Richmond as any other. Robinson wants one of his great grandfather's crowning achievements to live on as a place of learning for another century. Charles M. Robinson would say, you have to rebuild this building. I love Fox because of all the memories you make there. David says the messages left in ink and chalk at the foot of Fox speak volumes. I think it is a tribute of what this building means to the community. Fox Elementary rising from the ashes. David Robinson believes this path would eventually mend many broken hearts. That needs to be the message to every single kid that wrote one of those hearts. We are not going to rip this building from your memory. We're going to show that you can triumph out of tragedy. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News. Wanted to move forward with repairs at Clark Springs Elementary School and that could, and the board rather, authorized $500,000 to move forward with doing just that. Cameras said Clark Springs remains the best long-term option as it's close to where many Fox families live and already an RPS portfolio. When it came to other locations, there was a combination of concerns from one facility having the space but not being outfitted to accommodate small children to another also being in need of repair. There was concern about the district pouring money into a property that's not theirs. Cameron said he estimates the $500,000 will cover all repairs needed at Clark Springs Elementary, including roof leaks, plumbing, painting, HVAC, and landscaping. Here's his estimate on a possible timetable. We would be in a position to complete everything such that students could return to Clark Springs right after spring break. And that... Um, which is actually just uh, about six weeks away. Um, so it could be sooner than that. And as promising as that sounds, there was no decision made by the board on whether students will indeed uh, return or head to Clark Springs temporarily. But the superintendent said in case that is what the board ultimately decides, he wanted to get going on making those repairs to make for a seamless transition for students and teachers. Now he'll make a formal recommendation to the board that the superintendent will on March 7th. Now in that meeting tonight for Fox parents, Earlier in the evening, we also learned that $150,000 has been raised uh, for the RPS Education Foundation, specifically for Fox Elementary. That's right, Candace. Starting on March 21st, First Baptist Church will be the temporary home to Fox Elementary School. Now, whether students stay here throughout the remainder of the school year will be entirely up to the Fox families. Earlier tonight, as you said, school board members showed unanimous support for the superintendent's plan. Jason Camera says teachers and staff at Fox will be given tours of the Monument Avenue location this week, and they'll have all of next week to set up their classrooms. Camera says the target date to renovate and open Clark Springs Elementary is April 19th. 
But if all goes well and families choose to stay at First Baptist for the rest of the school year, students will not start at Clark Springs until the fall of next year. First Baptist has offered to host Fox students without cost, except for any excess spending that the church may incur. Tonight, several parents expressed gratitude and talked about the importance of students attending in-person school. My children have been attending the First Baptist Learning Center and we have 60 plus Fox kids who are now familiar with this space. I have no doubt their community will make every effort to make this transition the most rewarding experience for our students and teachers. It may not look like Fox. In fact, it's not going to look like Fox. But what's most important is the student teacher human relationship and that's what we are going to be able to offer on March 21st going forward. Now camera says they are still working on all the details and there was a lot of concern tonight about the after school program and transportation. The superintendent says he plans to keep updating Fox families and school board members as often as possible to tell them exactly where they are in this process. He also expressed confidence that Fox Elementary School will be rebuilt in its same location on Hanover Avenue. He said there were some rumors to the contrary, but he wanted to reassure families that they were working very hard to ensure that that happened. Well, Fox families had hoped to move into the Clark Springs Elementary School building on April 19th, but that may not happen now. It's been pushed back because of mold being found inside the building. Katie Ricard stuffed her car Friday with books that people had donated to Our Lady of Lords to give to Fox Elementary after a fire destroyed the school. I think that might be it. But so many people donated books, Ricard says she's now taking them to other Richmond Elementary schools. The Fox PTA president and parent of two Fox students says she is so thankful her kids and others are back in person at First Baptist Church, but that location is only temporary. These are Sunday school classrooms. They're not elementary school classrooms. And so I know for the teachers, it has taken a lot to figure out how to make the space work for them. She is hopeful the kids can get into Clark Springs as soon as possible. But last night, Superintendent Jason Camrus told the Fox community they may have have to wait a little longer. The big update is we did get the mold and asbestos report back and yes there is some mold and asbestos and so we are going to begin the remediation process. The implication of that is it will likely push our ready date beyond April 19th. RPS spokeswoman Sarah Abu Baker said the asbestos is safe as long as it's not disturbed, so they don't need abatement at this time, but the mold mitigation will push back the move-in date. Another concern with that, there is currently no aftercare for Fox families right now because First Baptist runs their own afternoon programs. Right now, you know, they're having to leave work to get their kids, rely on family members, pulling together a neighborhood network. It's been really challenging. School board member Mariah White told me she is working on a solution, but as of last night, camera says nothing is in stone. Not yet. It's still a work in progress. I know that's not the answer you wanted to hear. Uh, we are trying to to make it happen, um, but I don't have anything concrete tonight to share. As for when the rebuild can begin at Fox, that process can't start until the fire marshal finishes his investigation. Chief Carter suggested to me he thinks that will probably be next week. Um, after that point, it will be under the purview of the city. And that's the standard process for these kinds of things. Well, there are a variety of community volunteers who want to help and volunteer their time to get this school ready for students. But the superintendent says that can't happen until a variety of work projects are completed here at the school. Working for you tonight in Richmond, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6. Fox Elementary students may not be able to move into Clark Springs Elementary as soon as planned. Mold was found in the building. The news disappointing at least some Fox Elementary parents. A news reporter Sabrina Shutters is live at Clark Springs Elementary for us. Sabrina, what is all this doing to the timeline now? 
Well, the Anavox Elementary students now at First Baptist Church are supposed to move into Clark Springs Elementary here in just three weeks. But now the school district is just scrambling to try to find a way to clean it up before then. It's it's a significant obstacle. When mom of two Fox Elementary students, Becca Duval, heard her kids might have to stay at First Baptist Church for longer than expected, she was not surprised. Richmond Public Schools board member Jonathan Young says the mold and other problems with Clark Springs Elementary will take more time to take care of than expected. We're going to invest a lot of resources in preparing Clark Springs, not just pertinent to the mold mitigation, but we have a lot of other work that has already been done and still yet. To be done. He wants the students who have already had to deal with the fire at their school and moving once to First Baptist to not have to deal with any more moves until next school year. To be blunt, I anticipate at the end of the day that the decision probably will err on the side of let's stay where we're at because the reality is June 24th is right around the corner. Duval says there's a big issue with students staying at First Baptist. No after school care. I have friends who very deeply. Are, are having to struggle right now. They are not getting a full work day in. She is grateful to community partners allowing the students to stay at the church, but hopes the deadline is met to get them into Clark Springs soon. This is our long term solution. This is where we have to start getting used to walking the halls and building our memories and having our attachments built because it's going to be our home for years to come. Now, Young says board member Mariah White has been working on solutions for after school care for parents. He says the parents should not be concerned about the next school year and that Fox students should, at a minimum, be able to move into Clark Springs Elementary here in the fall. For now, live in Richmond, Sabrina Shutters, 8 News. Well, Leland, they are brightening up the playground here at Clark Springs. Clark Springs with interactive learning activities. For example, take a look at the sidewalk here. They painted the entire solar system, all eight planets and the sun. And if you check out this colorful hand over here, it represents the five finger breathing technique. So children are also practicing mindfulness. Now everything you'll see here is the work of more than 100 problem solvers giving back to their community. I say the more the merrier for the paint. <laughs> <laughs> VCU student Faith Anna masters the art of stenciling. I'm trying to dab more than paint because it's really hard to get in to all the little pebbles. Her canvas for this colorful map of America, the asphalt surrounding the playground at Clark Springs Elementary. We're labeling all the states currently. The map serves as one of several different interactive games that Fox Elementary students and staff can enjoy during recess. They can do a lot of different things, jumping on different states. Once they move into Clark Springs, the future temporary learning spot for the Fox community after a catastrophic fire destroyed their school. The vibrant facelift to a once blighted blacktop, all thanks to a partnership between VCU's education program and Richmond Public Schools. I thought it was just a perfect opportunity to create um, physical activity spaces, but then also the active learning. VCU's Misty Mueller recruited dozens of her students to come out for a day of service to help bring the space to life. From hopscotch to an alphabet tree to a number chart, children won't just be exercising at these stations, but stimulating their minds. We've got science, language arts, and social studies. When they go back inside, they're going to be ready to learn. I'm just thrilled. I mean, gosh, I want to hop out here. Superintendent Jason Cameron is stopping by to get a look at the transformation for himself and expressing gratitude to the volunteers. Play is important. It's important for adults, but it's certainly important for kids, and especially kids who are still processing the events of the fire. Every stroke of a paint roller carries meaning that goes deeper than the asphalt surface. I'm excited to see these kids get out here and have some fun. As college student Chris Cates crafts a four square court with care, he leaves elementary school students with the valuable message. As a community, continue to love each other, use this space to run freely, have fun with each other, um, never take a moment for granted. 
It's a message we could all use right now, and organizers say they also plan to fix up these basketball hoops as well as the tennis courts behind me, and they want to install a pickleball court. Now, they invite the entire Randolph community to come out and enjoy this space. New at 11, Fox Elementary students could start at their new school in just a couple of weeks. We're learning Clark Springs Elementary will be ready for students and teachers very soon. That's according to the agenda Richmond Public Schools posted for tomorrow night's school board meeting. RPS says they believe Clark Springs Elementary School will be ready for teacher setup the week of April 19th and for students on Monday, April 25th. That is on track with the original timeline set by the school board. Over the next week, the school district will work with Fox staff and families to decide whether to move to Clark Springs this month or finish the school year out at First Baptist. Well, in less than a month, students at Fox Elementary School, they could be moving into that vacant Clark Springs building. Fox principal Daniela Jacobs posted as much on Facebook. She wrote that they're working to have students start at Clark Springs on May the 4th. It would require the school to be closed for three days prior for moving and setup. That date was proposed during a town hall meeting yesterday. Currently, Fox students go to class at First Baptist Church. That's on Monument Avenue. You'll remember a massive fire destroyed the historic school building back in February. SOL testing is actually scheduled for May 23rd, complicating things a bit, and testing rules do not allow those tests to happen at First Baptist. A staff survey will go out next week, and the school board expected to make the final decision at their April the 25th meeting. A familiar place with a new look and a new name. I've seen it at its worst and now I'm seeing it at its best. Former Clark Springs Elementary will soon be the home to Fox Elementary students. A massive fire in February burned the building to the ground. Students have since been learning at a nearby church. It's time. It's time to uh, have the school setting. The closed school is now coming in handy. Richmond Public School Board closed Clark Springs for being under capacity in 2013. RPS had also recently discovered mold issues. The overcome of this building is beautiful. But as of Wednesday, all of the areas of concern have been addressed and remediated. District officials say the school is ready for students. The district invested $800,000 in repairs. It included mold tests in prior known problematic areas that have come back clear. It also included upgrades to water fountains, doors, network access points, ceiling tiles, furniture, and more. We have a brand new fire panel that has been installed here for Clark Springs. That had its inspection yesterday. While inspectors have given the green light. I don't want to give it. I don't want to be um, disillusioned anyone to think that this roof is not going to leak. Some there? district leaders say temporary fixes may not solve bigger infrastructure problems at Clark Springs. The roof is in very, very bad shape. It's in very bad shape. We don't have any new leaks but the water is finding places to go elsewhere. Officials say it's taking $900 per trip to patch anything up. A full replacement of the roof would take nearly $1.5 million. My, my sincere hope is that we make it to summer and we can maybe discuss putting on a new roof. For now, the school is one step closer to giving Fox students a temporary home. I think our children will love this building. The school board will vote on Monday to decide when students will move in. It could be as soon as May or they may wait until next school year. Instead, Fox Elementary School were starting their first day at First Baptist Church on Monument Avenue. But after four weeks of work, RPS says the once empty Clark Springs building is now ready. John Hood is giving us an inside look at the school and what's being done to get it ready for the big return. This sign hanging outside of Clark Springs says it all. As the school division says, it's ready to welcome back Fox Elementary into an RPS building. Since March 24th, crews have worked around the clock. Initially, a major concern was mold found during an air test, and then crews found another type of mold during a second test. The company recommended that we just scrub that air, so that's what we're doing now. That started yesterday, and um, we'll finish up tomorrow, and then we'll have another mold test done just in that one small space on Monday, but that'll, that'll finalize everything. But the significant areas of concern have been addressed, and they're they're where they should be. New exterior doors have been installed, floors cleaned, and 24 classrooms are ready. The school division is just waiting to hear from the school board on when the move will happen. Teachers have already been surveyed on where they would like to finish off the year, 69% saying they're ready to move to Clark Springs. A survey to Fox families went out on um, 
Tuesday or Wednesday night um, asking Fox families the same questions. And from those two surveys, uh, whatever the prevailing opinion, will be shared with the school board. Whichever decision is made, Dana Fox, head of construction at RPS, says more work will continue to happen this summer to make sure this school is beyond ready for next fall. So this is a temporary space for Fox Elementary, but we also understand that it's going to be the remainder of the um, elementary career for some students, and that it will also be the beginning of an elementary career for some students. So I think it's important to say that this is going to be a positive space and a, and a wonderful space to have. Now on Monday, the school board will be meeting and it's expected to make a vote on where Fox Elementary will finish off the school year at, either here at Clark Springs or over at First Baptist. On your side in Richmond, John Hood, NBC 12 News. Thanks, John. Well, Candace, as long as the school board approves Superintendent Jason Cameras' plan, Fox Elementary students will be attending class here at Clark Springs by next week. Now, Fox students have been attending classes at First Baptist Church for five weeks now. Before that, they endured virtual learning after the catastrophic fire that destroyed their school on February 11th. Now, based on surveys conducted on staff and parents, the vast majority of both said they wanted to to move out of First Baptist and into Clark Springs before the end of the school year. Staff were surveyed on how many days they would need to make the move and set up their classroom, and they were evenly split between three, four, and five days. However, the majority of parents said they should be given three days for that. So the superintendent recommended this Wednesday be the final day at First Baptist, with students officially going to school at Clark Springs on May 4th, because Tuesday, May 3rd, is a school holiday for our now, in addition, if the plan is approved, the after school program will return finally for Fox families here at Clark Springs on May 4th as well. Now, also of note, the superintendent is telling the board tonight that the roof here at Clark Springs has been repaired, but it will need to be replaced soon. So they need to decide if they want to allocate the funding to replace it entirely, as opposed to some of the other capital improvement projects that need to be done in the system. Fox Elementary School students will have a new temporary home in two weeks. The school board voted tonight to move students into Clark Springs Elementary, where they'll stay until Fox is rebuilt. Our Tracy Sears joins us live now with the timeline for that move. Tracy? Bill, if everything goes according to plan, teachers and students from Fox Elementary will be in their new temporary home at Clark Springs Elementary School by Monday, May 9th. This is nearly three months after a devastating fire completely destroyed their school. Now, over the past month, the district has invested more than $800,000 in repairs and upgrades at Clark Springs, including new electrical work, new exterior doors, mold removal, and a new fire panel. Now, despite the fact that inspectors say a new roof is still still needed. A recent survey of Fox families showed that 69% of families were ready for the move after weeks of learning at much smaller classrooms at First Baptist Church. But a majority of teachers argued they needed just a bit more time to transition into their new classrooms. So the, bo the board voted tonight to give them just one more day. Our time at the church has been incredibly stressful. The kids fight, the teachers yell, they yell until they retreat to the hallway where they also cry. And although we fully understand that we are not expected to make our rooms beginning of the year perfect, there is still an enormous amount of work required to make an elementary classroom functional. We need to box things, label things, move things, unpack things, and organize things in a space that we've never taught in before. And this will be our fourth transition this year. Now, the school board just voted a few moments ago to give teachers May 2nd, May 4th, and May 6th to pack up their classrooms and move to the new school. And the first day of classes will be on Monday, May 9th for all students. Now, inspectors say the school is safe and ready for occupancy, but they see the issue of a new roof. They say also a space for four new classrooms and new gym floors is something that's going to have to be addressed over the summer months.
Well, months after a fire destroyed their school, Fox Elementary students now have a new home. They'll be moving into the old Clark Springs building in just two weeks. Now, those students have been going to First Baptist Church while waiting for Clark Springs to be repaired. Eight News reporter Sabrina Shutters is live in Richmond this morning. And Sabrina, how much are these repairs expected to cost? Well, John Delaney, that total cost for repairs and renovations here at Clark Springs is expected to be $760,000, all to get it ready for the students. Take a listen. I am delighted to share that Clark Springs is ready for students and staff. That superintendent Jason Camera is making the move official last night after a survey showed nearly 70% of teachers wanted to move to Clark Springs as soon as possible. The school board voted to give Fox staff an additional day to get their classrooms ready, so the last day at First Baptist will be this Friday. So teachers will have May 2nd through 6th to set up, and Fox students will not have class those days, and the third is a school holiday. Now, we're told a moving company has been secured, so teachers don't have to move their classrooms on their own, and every Fox teacher should get a $500 Amazon gift card to help them with supplies. Back to you. So, Sabrina, we've all been following the story very closely for months now, and we've been reporting about mold and asbestos at Clark Springs. So, what's the most recent update to that? Right, well, John, we're told recent retesting shows that all spaces inside Clark Springs are clear except for the nurse's office, which was retested for mold again yesterday. John. All right, Sabrina, thank you so much for that report. Three months ago, a massive fire ripped through Fox Elementary School, destroying the building and forcing those students and teachers out. So much was left up in the air. Where would those students learn? And would this be the end of the historic school? Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 11. I'm Autumn Childress. Tomorrow marks a brand new beginning. This Fox community will move into a new space nearly three months to the day since that devastating fire. The principal says with the new home comes the chance to make new memories. 8 News reporter Nicole Dantzler is live in Richmond with more on this story. Nicole. Autumn Fox students and teachers will finish out the school year here at Clark Springs Elementary. Tonight, we're hearing from the principal about this temporary space and taking a look at how we ended up here. Tomorrow, Fox students and teachers will officially start classes at Clark Springs Elementary. Fox Elementary's principal, Daniela Jacobs, told 8 News yesterday that the new space is everything they need. We've got a playground, huge, gorgeous fields. And, you know, we can now make this our home. Their old building along Hanover Avenue in the Fan District was destroyed by a massive fire on the night of February 11th. The rubble left behind brought uncertainty to the Fox community. But over the last three months, community members showed support by organizing fundraisers and walks. School board members voted on March 18th to renovate the Fox Elementary building instead of demolishing and rebuilding it. That building just, it has a spirit. And there's just something about it that draws people back. First Baptist Church on Monument Avenue served as a temporary home until upgrades and repairs to Clark Springs were complete. First Baptist took us in first, and that was just such a blessing and a wonderful thing for them to do. But, you know, it wasn't our space. This weekend, the Fox community celebrated the official move into Clark Springs at the 42nd Annual Strawberry Street Festival. Jacobs added that they're prepared to make this their home for the next few years. It's been a tough road, but the teachers and staff have been rock stars. Now, it's still a long road to recovery for Fox, but it's expected for students to move back into the renovated Fox building by the fall of 2024. Live in Richmond, Nicole Danzler, 8 News. It's been nearly three months since a fire ripped through Fox Elementary School in Richmond, leaving students and teachers in limbo without a place to learn and teach. Definitely been a difficult few months for them as they've made several transitions, obviously going from virtual learning to First Baptist, and now the much anticipated move to Clark Springs happening today. As many have heard, teachers' classrooms are often their second homes, and Friday CBS 6 was there as teachers settled into their new spaces at Clark Springs. The district says they're ready to welcome students to this more permanent space later this morning. 
Fox PTA president elect Amelia Bouchon says her kids are excited about the playground and the outdoor space at uh, Clark Springs, something they haven't had at First Baptist. And she's confident the nearly $800,000 spent on renovations to the building have created a safe space for students to learn. But Bouchon says while her kids are excited for their first day at Clark Springs, they're also eager to finally see work being done to stabilize the Fox building. It has been hard, you know, to walk by that building and see seemingly, you know, not a lot happening and feeling like somebody help our building, please. Um, so to see people over there working, progress happening um, in, in some, I, I know that some items were able to be removed from that building um, earlier this week. And, and that's just really heartening being able to save some items and starting to give some love to the building. Uh, that gives us a lot of hope and that's going to help us keep going through this continued transition. Now, later this morning, in just about a half hour, Superintendent Jason Camrus, Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney, Fox Principal Daniela Jacobs, and School Board Representatives will be at Clark Springs to welcome students. I'm going to be there, and we'll bring you the latest on your CBS 6 News at noon. Rob? All right, thank you, Caroline. Earlier today, Fox Elementary students started school at their new home at Clark Springs Elementary. The students have spent months learning at First Baptist Church after a fire devastated their school building. 8 News reporter Sabrina Shatters was at Clark Springs this morning and has more about the big day for students. The Fox principal says they're ready to embrace Clark Springs as their new home as she helped welcome in Fox students to Clark Springs here earlier today. One, two, three. Yeah! Fox principal Daniela Jacobs cutting the ribbon for Fox students as they walked a sidewalk lined with balloons and several other Richmond leaders welcoming them. The students have spent months at First Baptist after their historic school building went up in flames in February. You'll remember how devastating that damage was. Superintendent Jason Cameron says he's not sure what wasn't improved to get Clark Springs ready for the students. New floor tiles, painting the entire building, power washing the exterior, all the window screens that you've seen, electrical work, plumbing work, uh, cleaning the gym. We're eventually going to replace the floor in the gym. Uh, bathroom repairs, I mean, top to bottom, uh, a ton of work. Now, it's still a long road to recovery for the Fox community because students will not be able to go back to the original Fox building anytime soon. We're told that renovations to the Fox building could take years. For now in Richmond, Sabrina Shutters, 8 News. Nearly three months after their historic school was heavily damaged by fire, hundreds of Richmond students have returned to an actual school building today. For the foreseeable future, Fox Elementary School students will be attending class at the former Clark Springs Elementary School building. CBS 6's Caroline Colburn was there as students arrived this morning and joins us now live with the update. Caroline? Well, Cheryl, it was an exciting morning at the school, and the biggest thing I'm hearing from parents is that they're excited for their kids to have some sort of a routine and a place to call home for now. Our new box at Clark Springs. Are you guys excited? Yeah! With the cutting of a red ribbon yeah! comes the start of a new beginning for hundreds of Richmond's Fox Elementary students. They were welcomed to Clark Springs Monday morning with fun music, a military style sword art, and lots of high fives from city and school leaders. We feel happy and relieved, but also very excited for these kids to start their next little adventure. Moms Kristen Harrison and Julia Rigetti have been waiting for this day since Fox caught fire back in February. It's been a difficult last few months with lots of transitions, but the kids made it. They are. They're resilient. They're resilient. Looking at Clark Springs from the outside, the building has been power washed and the roof patched. But the inside is where the real transformation took place. Plumbing, painting, and new tile floors. Plus, a lot of love from teachers. Not only is the facility in a great shape, but the teachers have made every classroom come alive in truly magical ways. We cannot thank them enough for all the transitions that they've gone through to support their kids. This building will be the home of Fox students until their current building can be restored. The initial goal for that to happen was fall of 2024, but the fire investigation is still underway. We're still many months away from even being able to begin the process of the renovation. I think it's going to be quite some time, and I don't think we should commit to any timelines just yet until we know 
uh, exactly what that's going to look like. For now, students, parents and teachers seem relieved to get back to a routine. And while tragic, they believe the fire has made their community and children stronger. Watching them and watching our kids grow over the last couple of years with COVID and virtual learning and then this, I, I can't imagine the, the memories that our kids are going to be taking from this experience. Let's have a great day of learning. Now, this building still needs a new roof, and it also needs a new gym floor. That's slated to be installed this summer, but it's safe, according to parents and school staff, and they say that's the top priority. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Caroline Colburn, CBS 6 News.